Welcome to Electro Online. With this video, we're beginning to review the next stage of physics called thermodynamics. And let's start with some basic definitions. Temperature. So it is a means to quantify the difference between hotness and coldness. How much of a difference between an object that is hot versus an object that is cold. The temperature scale is what gives us the ability to do that quantitative measurement so that we can actually put a number to it. Heat is the same as energy, however it's internal energy of an object and it's the quantity of energy that gets transferred from one object to another object. There's no change in kinetic energy of the object, there's no change in the potential energy, but there's a change in the internal energy with the heat is the energy moving from one object to another. Thermal equilibrium is the condition when all objects in the system are at the exact same temperature and at that point there's no heat flow from one object to another, all heat flow stops. If they're not at thermal equilibrium, if one object is hotter than another, heat will flow from the hot object to the cold object and never the other way around. Seeing heat traveling from a cold object to a hot object is like seeing water flowing uphill, it's not going to happen. And finally, the concept of absolute zero, which is the, pos the coldest possible temperature that can exist, and it turns out there's nowhere anywhere in the universe where you will find absolute zero. We'll find out that it's not possible to obtain absolute zero, but essentially, if we could, that is where all the internal motion of an object would stop, because it's the internal motion of the object, the atoms vibrating back and forth, that generate the internal energy. So there's no longer any motion, there's no longer any internal energy, and that is the coldest temperature that can, that can exist in the universe. So now that we have these terms on, in hand, we can now go ahead and start the review of thermodynamics. 